Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and in this video we are going to talk about the one and the most popular platform that new freelancers can choose and that is LinkedIn. As a freelancer, there is no way that you can stay out of LinkedIn. It is a pool of potential clients for you. So there is no way that you're going to miss out on LinkedIn, right? But you know what is great about LinkedIn? LinkedIn has recently announced that they are going to venture into freelancing platform. They are going to launch their own marketplace, which is going to make it easy for freelancers to find potential clients and make it easy for clients to find the relevant freelancers. And that's an amazing news. And we are going to go in depth into what this is all about and how you can take advantage of it right away. Hi guys, I am Chavi and I am a blogger and an online business coach. We create videos about making money online. So if you are interested, all you have to do is to hit the red icon below and subscribe to our channel. Now let's get started. The first thing that I want to cover is freelancing platforms in general. So whenever somebody wants to start freelancing, what they do is to hop on to freelancing platforms like Upwork and Fiverr, which is completely okay. Because if you're going to go on Google, you're going to research, you're going to ask people, the one thing that they're going to recommend to you is to start using Upwork and Fiverr. That's how this entire marketing has been. That's how people view freelancing. Okay. But in my opinion, these are the kind of freelancing platforms that you should completely avoid right now. There are multiple reasons for it. I'm not going to go in depth about it because I have created another video which is going to most likely come up next week. So keep an eye out for that. But I'm going to round up the few points that I have to make. The first one is that these platforms are extremely, extremely overcrowded, which makes it very difficult for you to differentiate yourself with a thousand other freelancers that's going to apply for the same freelancing job. The second part is that it's and it encourages you to bid lower on a project. So you see a job on Upwork, let's say, and you are going to have to use your credits to bid on that with your proposal. What happens is that most new freelancers are forced to lower down their rates in order to match and get the gig, which is against what I teach and against something that you should be doing. You should value your skills and you should charge accordingly. The third problem with these platforms is that they charge a high percentage as their fee. So when you are going to use Upwork or Fiverr, they are going to take a percentage of your earning with each and every client. Now, if you're going to do the math, you will realize that they are going to take away a huge percentage. And if you're going to find one client outside of these platforms, you're going to make a lot more money. But like I said, this video is not about that. So we are not going to go in depth about all these negative points that I have told about Upwork and Fiverr. I have created another video, so keep an eye out for that. And if you haven't subscribed, click on the red icon below and subscribe to my channel, guys. But I'm telling you all this because I'm really excited that LinkedIn is launching its own freelancing marketplace and it's going to call the marketplaces. It can be a game changer in this field because LinkedIn has been a go-to professional networking website in order to get clients as a freelancer for me and for tons of other people that I know. After the pandemic, what has happened is a lot of people were left jobless and a lot of people moved to freelancing and virtual assistants. Now, LinkedIn has made it extremely clear that they want to capitalize on this market, the emerging trend of the gig economy, the emerging trend of freelancing and virtual assistants and give a platform specifically for this. The new platform that is the marketplaces is going to enable you to hire, to find freelancers and to pay for it as well, which makes it a complete freelancing platform just like Upwork and Fiverr. Now, if you did not know, LinkedIn already had a feature for freelancer that, that was called ProFinder. Now, this marketplace is going to replace the ProFinder feature on LinkedIn and you need to keep an eye out for this they have decided to launch this freelancing platform somewhere in September, but it can be delayed a few months like any other service, like any other launches that they talk about. Now, one thing that I found extremely amazing about the marketplaces by LinkedIn is that they are going to focus only and only on white collar jobs like software development, marketing, designing, editing, and all those kind of skills. That means that it's going to weed out a lot of low paying gigs and low paying freelancers that do a lot of work like data entry, converting PDFs into Word, etc. And it's going to just focus on 
people and businesses that are selling some worthy skills. Now, if you are a business owner who is looking to hire a freelancer using this platform to be able to compare the rates of individual freelancers on this platform, which makes it similar to other freelancing marketplaces like Upwork and Fiverr, where you can see what other freelancers are charging. Now, the one thing of concern is that it is not going to be free of cost and LinkedIn has made it extremely clear that it's going to charge a percentage of the fee. What we have to see when the launch happens is that how much of your earning is LinkedIn going to charge as a fee because that's extremely, extremely relevant and extremely crucial. LinkedIn has also made it extremely clear that it's going to give competition to the most used freelancing platforms like Upwork and Fiverr by blending in the features that both of them offer. Now, Marketplaces by LinkedIn is going to allow business owners to compare the rates of various freelancers just like Fiverr allows you to do that and also allow uh, business owners to post ads and job ads just like Upwork allows them to do. So it's going to blend in the features of both these freelancing platforms. Now, after the job is done by the freelancer, it also allows the customers, the clients and the business owners to leave reviews for them just like Upwork and Freelancer. Now, while the marketplaces is going to be launched in September, what is of interest is that LinkedIn has already launched LinkedIn service pages, which to me seems like a precursor to launching their entire marketplace for the freelancing world. So what I recommend is to hop onto LinkedIn right away and create your service page and to ensure that you're already on the platform because it's officially launched because it seems like they're going to curate all the existing service pages and put it out on their LinkedIn marketplaces just as they launch it because then they'll have an array of freelancers already on the platform by that time. Just to give you a brief, LinkedIn service pages are independent landing platforms that you can use to market your services at no extra cost. Additionally, potential clients can contact you at no extra cost for free regardless of whether or not they're connected with you, regardless of what connection degree you have with them. The first degree, the second degree or the third degree does not matter. They will be able to get in touch with you if they need to hire you. The service page on LinkedIn is going to be visible on the feed of your network as well as your own. And just like I said, you are going to be discoverable. The LinkedIn service page for your business is going to be discoverable by everybody on the LinkedIn platform despite the connection degree, despite whether they are already connected with you or whether or not you have mutual connections which makes it an amazing, amazing feature. So now that we have already talked about LinkedIn marketplaces and that LinkedIn has already launched LinkedIn service page, what I want to do is to hop onto LinkedIn and show you how you can create your own service page right now and what are the things that you should take care of. So let's get to it. Guys, LinkedIn has already launched their LinkedIn service page. So I was trying to look up for it and I couldn't find it, but uh, then I landed on this help section of LinkedIn that talks about creating a LinkedIn service page. So like it says, LinkedIn service pages are dedicated landing pages that focus your services and businesses at no extra cost. Now what you have to do is to create a service. For creating a service page, you need to click on that icon on the top of your LinkedIn homepage and click open to. So you have to go here, you view your profile. I'm going to scroll down, you're going to find open to. So here it does not show a at the LinkedIn services page section. So what you have to do is to go to the troubleshooting step. And from here, click on LinkedIn service provider group. And you need to be a part of this. So what you have to basically do is to click the request to join button. And once you're approved in within 24 hours of approving, you should be able to see open to button on your profile and there will be a create a service page option okay and if you don't see the button for 48 hours you can contact them from here i did that i um, went to the group i joined it and uh, even after 24 hours i think i did not have a service page section here or even here but i what but what i had was an option to create it here so providing services see all details so I think the difference is between um, doing it on Android platform or an iOS platform. So depending upon what you are using, just figure it out what is applicable to you. 
Okay, so what I'm showing you right now is on iOS and working on a MacBook Pro. It's going to show you like this. You can create it. So services provided. I have selected all these services. You can select whatever you are offering. So you click on add services and you can write like email marketing, event planning, data entry, real estate, search engine optimization, customer service, video editing, project management, whatever you're offering, you can add that here. And then you have to write something yourself about yourself. So you can say that I am a professional um, blogger, right? Copywriter and an online business coach that helps people So this is something which I just whipped out right now, but you should use all the 500 characters to ensure that you are putting across your point extremely clearly. So you are going to use your USP, how you can help, what kind of results you have driven, what clients you have worked with, what you can do and build some authority by talking about where you have been featured or any big clients that you have worked with. Work location, I'm available to work remotely. And everything else is fine. Allow LinkedIn members that you are not connected with you to message you for free. Ensure that this is checked. Who can see the services you provide? Anyone. And then save it. It's going to come as published for you because that's the first time you will be doing it. And it's going to look like this. You're also getting a separate link for your service page. That means you can also use this as your service website to share with your potential clients to know more about you. So this is how you will be creating your services page. Now, if you go to view profile, it's also going to come on your profile. That's here. You can switch on the creator mode as well. Make use of the featured section to showcase your work. Post regularly so that you can create authority. You can create some credibility for yourself. Use about section properly and use your experience section properly and put out your freelancing business as something that you're currently working on with a good um, introduction, good description and link to your services page, link to your portfolio, your resume and anything that is relevant for your client to see. So that's how you can create a LinkedIn service page and I recommend that you hop onto it right now. So that was all about how you can set up your LinkedIn service page. If you haven't been using LinkedIn as a go-to network, if you haven't been using LinkedIn to find clients, to grow your freelancing business, that you're missing out on something really important, really easy and really amazing. So hop onto LinkedIn right now. If you already have LinkedIn account, then I would suggest that you start optimizing your profile with keywords. Use each and every feature that LinkedIn has provided you from titles, descriptions, experience, recommendations, portfolio, featured on, creator mode, everything. Set up a LinkedIn uh, service page, a strong LinkedIn service page, which allows you to market and sell your services. It's extremely important that you hop onto it right now because let's be honest, if you're going to be early on a platform, it's always beneficial if it's going to become as big as Upwork or Freelancer or even Fiverr. So I hope this video was beneficial i hope you learned something from this video if you like the video don't forget to subscribe to our channel guys and leave a comment below if you have any questions and i'll see you next bye bye